Hi guys. So I have not long got in from work, probably about five, ten minutes ago. And this is why I look so crazy. My hair needs washing, which is horrendous. But I do have a pretty bow in it today. A little grey one. So I am gonna have a bit of a pamper sesh. Jack's got football tonight, two lots I think. Um this is a really horrible angle, but I have no shells in my bathroom and nowhere to put you. Um, so I'm going to start by taking off my makeup from the day using my little teeny tiny, which is really cute, Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm. Um, let me get that to running. So it's super tiny. Um, my massive pot I had to throw away because I was using it so sparingly that um, it went all funny. So, oh, I'm not sure how to do this. Look how tiny and cute it is. I love my knees. Does anyone else love my knees? So I'm just gonna get a little bit. Rub up my fingers a bit. And then, oh, I love the smell of this stuff. Does anyone else really like the smell of this? Just me. I'm gonna look like a crazy panda lady. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh. I'm probably used too much of this, but I like to get it as much as I can off my face. Okay, panda face. Okay. And then I'm also gonna try, um, so I'm gonna do this, jump in the shower, um, and then I'm going to try one of my new body shop masks. The water's gone cold. Ugh. Um, yeah, I went a few, well, about a month or two ago now. Um, I went to Body Shop and bought one of their new masks, face masks, um, and I got loads of sachets as well of the new one. Uh, they have like a new range. But I'm going to try, I think it's the green tea matcha, Japanese matcha, something like that. So I'm going to try that tonight. And then I'm going to try the others a week this week as well. I think it's about five or six in the collection so it will um give me something to do every night my skin's been really bad so hopefully it will help this water's really hot <laughs> if no one's used it before can we just appreciate how easy it is to take everything off but yeah it's super easy so i'm gonna finish this and i'll come back to you when we're done oh, we're done all my makeup's off my face already feels lovely. So I'm just gonna switch on the shower. Try not to get wet. I'm hoping you can hear me. So at the moment, <coughs> let me grab them. I'm using the Alberto Balsam Antioxidant Blueberry for colored or damaged hair, shampoo and conditioner. Although Jack is also using shampoo which means I've got about this much left. And then I'm using the Imperial Leather Marshmallow. It literally smells amazing. Mmm, so good. It's not overpowering, which is nice. Um, I usually use, well, in the mornings, I tend to use the original source mint and tea tree, but I have completely run out. Okay. Take that downstairs. It doesn't need to be in the shower. Um, I'm also using the Tresemme Keratin Smooth uh, hair mask. Um, I can't get it, it's half the water. Um, so I usually shampoo and condition my hair, whack that through, then wash and then wash it out. Just because my ends are a bit crap. So yeah, I'm going to shower and I'll be back. I'm now out of the shower, obviously. Um, and just so nice and warm. So I've also put on, um, I gave my legs a bit of a shave. My winter coat was uh, fast approaching. And I've used um, Soap and Glory, the Righteous Butter on my legs. I really like the smell of this and it's just really soothing. It doesn't sting or anything. And then I've also put on, on my arms and like my chest, the Lush Sleepy Body Lotion, which smells amazing. It's like a lavender scent, which, you know, pretty standard for sleep stuff. It says, uh, dip into a dream painted in brush strokes of gentle oatmeal infusion and lavender flower. 
Um, I've seen everyone rave about this and then I'm never really a fan of stuff people have raved about because I just, I don't know, I get a bit funny about it. Um, but I've been really having trouble sleeping. Well, not necessarily sleeping, but staying asleep. Um, and my mum used this um, and said that it had helped her not completely stay asleep, but she didn't get up as much as she did previously. So it's, I've had it for a while now. I've got a while. Uh, I've had it since September. Um, and it's been sitting on my dressing table um, and I just haven't got around to using it. I keep forgetting I've got it. And then I just spotted it tonight and thought, oh, I would give this a go. I'm not sure if you meant to put it on this early. Oh, it says like, before you go to bed. Well, actually it says before you pop on your PJs. I put my PJs on when I get home from work. Never mind, we'll see what happens. Um, so I've done that on my legs, my arms, my body. Um, I haven't put any moisturiser on yet because I'm going to do my face mask first and then put moisturiser on overwards. I have just put in this oil, it's the Argan Oil Hair Treatment, Moroccan Argan Oil Extract. Um, I got this from the pound shop. I had one from Primark um, a year or so ago. It was a thinner tube and it was like an Argan Oil Extract thing. I just used on the ends of my hair because my hair is really badly damaged. Um, and that was amazing, I ran out. So uh, I went to the pound shop and found this one. It's okay, uh, it's not as good as the Primark one, but it's not horrendous. Um, I've literally, you have to use the tiniest bit though, because otherwise your hair gets really greasy. Um, so I actually put the tiniest bit in my hand, rub it all over my hands, so it's not completely saturated, and then just drag it through the bottoms. Um, and then like up here, we're at like, the end of my fringe where it's growing out, just so I haven't got like crispy ends. Uh, I will brush it with my Tangle Teaser as well, but I'm just gonna let it hang for a bit. Actually, should I do that now? I'll do that now quick. I'll fast forward this so you don't have to sit and watch. If you hear jingles, it's my two pussy cats. I'm not sure where they've gone, but they, they always feel like they're missing out on something if I close the door completely. Well, actually, I did close the door, but our door doesn't close properly, so they pushed it open. Um, but their collars have got little bells on them. Okay, so that's now done. I will tie it up, but I will wait. So, um, also, I do own other clothes. I just realised that most of my blogs, I'm wearing this. But it's my cosy hoodie. Um, used from my brother's. He's lost loads of weight now, though, so he's never going to fit him again. And he, every time he sees me in it, he says, Oh, I recognise that jumper. Yes, you do. It is mine now. Um, but it's just massive and cosy, and I love it. Um, so I now have, after sorting out my dressing table, so when we moved, um, I'd packed myself away. But I've now got one crammed drawer and one almost crammed drawer of stuff that I need to try, which is great. <laughs> I'm also wondering when it's going to happen. <laughs> um, I did actually try, I haven't got it on me, annoyingly. I am going to do a proper review about the stuff, but um, if you saw my last vlog, um, I reviewed the pink parcel boxes we got from our event. And in one of them was a Rimmel lipstick, like a nice red shade. It smells amazing. I wore it today and um, I'm naughty, I smoke. But I smoked, um, I ate pizza. Uh, it was one of the girls at work's birthday, so we had Domino's pizza delivered. Um, and it smudged a bit when I ate the pizza, but not like, you know, I didn't look like... Um, Miranda sings. <laughs> um, it wasn't everywhere and I didn't reapply it once and when I left work it was still, I mean it looked like I needed to top up, I'm not going to lie, but it was still there. You could see that I've been wearing lipstick, which is awesome. So I'm just going to try and find this body shop. Oh, that's crazy. I've obviously put it in there ready. I was right. So it's the Japanese Matcha Tea Pollution Clearing Mask. Removes pollution, deeply purifies, protects with matcha tea from Japan and dandelion extract from France. Ooh, multi multicultural. Okay. Remove makeup and cleanse the skin, tick tick. Smooth it all on, avoiding the eye and lips, standard. Leave five, 10 minutes, rinse of form water in circular motion to gently exfoliate. So let's have a look. So the packaging is this nice, 
it's like a dark grey with the green and then actually all of them are now where did I put the others I put them in the box. So they've all got the dark grey and then they have yeah so they're all like a dark grey brown colour and then they have uh, like the colour of each one so I've got the Amazonian Akai, Ethiopian Honey, British Rose, Chinese Ginseng and Rice and Himalayan Charcoal so I'm going to try and do one every day this week if not I'm going to do like a series and do like one every week I'm not that great when it comes to remembering skincare hence all my skin is so bad at the moment I'm okay this is pretty weighty oh I like I like the packaging I like this it feels really heavy it's only a what is it 75 mil but it feels pretty weighty I presume that's the packaging okay it smells very fresh really good <clears throat> I don't know if I've got a brush that I can use to whack this on all my brushes are minging I really do that's one of my jobs this week is to clean my brushes I do have my new spectrum ones but I don't really want to waste them on it not waste them that's sorry body shop not waste them I don't want to get them dirty with face masks so I'm going to use my fingers and my nails let's try this let's see what happens okay the texture's like the texture is more moussey than I expected. Oh, okay, you can really feel the little beads. It doesn't say what the beads are. I do like that fact that if it says if irritation occurs, use less frequently. Don't stop using it. Just use it less frequently. Okay. I never know what a, th a thin layer is. I either put way too much on or nowhere near enough. Does anyone else do that? I do kind of wish I'd done this oh, before I washed my hair, but never mind. I wish I won't get it near my hair. Don't get it near the hairline. Okay. So, I would usually run this down my neck, but I'm worried I'm just going to get it all over my... Oh, you know what? I'll do it here. Because this bit isn't great either. Oop. Okay. I think that's enough layer oh, I can't get in the bathroom because Jack has now gone in there Ugh. so let's take you downstairs and have a go to the way down there but um, first impression so far the, <clears throat> you feel like you've actually bought something you know sometimes when you buy something you think not great you actually feel like you've bought something with this um, it does smell quite nice it smells really fresh it feels really it doesn't feel horrible on the skin, it feels really, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It doesn't feel tight, obviously, because of the type of mask it is. It feels like it's cleaning, like it's really digging in deep. It feels very, like, minty fresh. It doesn't smell like mint at all. No, it definitely doesn't smell like mint at all. I need to wash this off my hands. Right. Eh. Come along. Excuse the mess of my house. Bear with. Goodness, the girls are going cray cray. What are you doing? Hi. Right. Luckily, in this house, we do have two rooms that we can wash up in. Oh, it's the only problem when you have nails. If it gets underneath them. Okay. That's some washed off. So I'm going to leave this for about five to ten minutes and I'll be back. And I'm back. So I've just washed it off and my skin feels so fresh. I'm just going to moisturise with my unique Divine Daily Moisturiser, which I've got hardly any left. I really like it. It's a really nice moisturiser. Makes your face feel really, really nice. If I'm having a no makeup day. I still make sure I put some of this on. There we go. And then, just lastly, trusty favourite, some Carmex. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. So I'm going to go off and get this edited and get this up hopefully tonight. Um, and then just do a quick blog post about the products I've used. Um, probably that will go up tomorrow, I think. Maybe tonight. That's part of it. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, really, really like this so far. I will try it again later this week. Actually, I'm not going to do the other ones. I'm going to carry on with this one for a minute um, just to see if I still like it. Because, you know, some face masks you only use once, that's fine. But my skin feels really nice. I want to see if it helps it at all. Um, but yeah, I'd be really interested to see. So I hope you're all having a lovely Monday, um, beginning of the week and all that jazz. And I'm going to go off and get some dinner and watch some Pretty Little Liars because I'm going from the beginning again. Um, and it's surprising how much stuff that you don't pick up the first time around. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. Hope your Mondays are good. See you later. Bye. Also forgot, if you like these videos, even if they are a bit haphazard and I'm not really sure what I'm doing, um, if you can click the like button down below, which is the big thumbs up, um, and subscribe, that'd be amazing. Um, also, all my links are down below for like my Twitter and Instagram and things. Um, but yeah, it'd be amazing. See you soon. Bye.